so you have created comic books. Yeah. Um, what's inspired you to create in this format, um, which is very different from from the paper and mm. the illustrative work? Mm. Well, I think as kids, most kids love cartoons and comics, and uh, and you know you you carry that. Some people carry that through to adulthood, mm. and I've dabbled in the com comic making. Well, not not. Uh, long comics I'm talking about little cartoons I've dabbled in that over the years mm. I've always been attracted to that form of communication I think you're combining words with pictures and there's nothing greater I, I love that a picture speaks a thousand words mm, mm. and it's beautiful when you just see an image and you can just absorb it and yeah. take it all in yeah. but it's another level when you're combining words with pictures I think it's just another dimension to creativity and I think there's nothing, yeah, I find there's nothing more fulfilling that I've done than writing the comic that yeah. I wrote because I was, I love writing and I'm not necessarily, it's not my strength, but um, I'm probably just good enough to do something like a comic rather than writing a big novel, you know. So it was a good format for me to have a first go at writing something. And I like... I guess the, the ironic thing is I don't like comedy movies. I don't watch a lot of comedies. Yeah. Uh, I find a lot of the some of the modern comedies just not amusing. Yeah. So I think I've got a pretty good sense of humour. So I think comics is one one way you can express a sense of humour. So I think the comic writing, yeah, the ins inspirations. Well, from childhood, you know, reading comics in the papers and just wanting to um, to combine the writing and the pictures, yeah. I think, is really the motivation. Have you got a copy of that, um, your first comic? Have no, you it's that downstairs. Over? The downstairs, never mind, we'll pop that in later on. <laughs> yes. Um, but you, you've you written or published two little comic books. Self-published. Self-published. Self -published yeah. two Would you call them... Well, they're not graphic novels, but no, short, short graphics, comics. Short comics. Short yeah. comics, I call them. Yeah. They're only 12 pages each, yeah. so they're quite short. Yeah. How many panels would you say were in the comics? Oh. So did you did you work that out? Um, How many panels per page you would have Probably a three or four per page. Yeah. But some of them weren't panels. They were a combination of, like, one sort of panel and a picture next to it all, mm. you know, so try to mix up the mm. panel. Sort of but having not watched much comedy, your yeah. your actual comic mm. um, was quite funny. It had some really good puns in it. Very humorous. And yeah. um, it's, a, it's a it's a comedy mystery. Yeah, comedy <laughs> mystery. <laughs> and um, and it's set in a restaurant. Yeah, it's a Chinese restaurant. Chinese restaurant, and it's it's that's sort of like influence from your culture. That's right. I'm and half Chinese. Yeah. And you had. A way of putting in those little funny um, moments between the characters that um, I mean I certainly got a giggle out of it I think when I saw some kids reading it mm -hmm. when I was down last time mm -hmm. they were getting a giggle out of it mm -hmm. and um, it, it looks like quite simplistic sort of character mm. um, design yeah. but I think one of the things that you you have a really good tendency to do with your work is make it look simple but th bring through the character personality very mm. well through your storytelling mm -hmm. process and the narrative that goes mm. with those characters so things to me um, I can see that it doesn't have to be a really complex drawing. It's the yeah. the, the idea that sits mm. all the way underneath it, and the and the the actual messages that you are wanting to give out to the reader on yeah. the way through that is part of your artistic style. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's, and yeah. I think it's the same with children's book. Um, you know, genre. I think pictures are part of the process of the storytelling mm. but the words are probably more um, I, wouldn't, I don't know if more important is the right word but you know in terms of conveying a message the story and the words are quite yeah important mm. I suppose and there's those characters in who stole my spring, spring roll, roll. Yeah. They're, they're Chinese characters there's actually cultural humour in there isn't there, there is. and it's yeah. and it sort of 
Like even in, in the way that they talk to each other, yes. you can see the different characters yes. have p particular personalities yes. and the way that they look at life. Yes. And so you're, they're all parts of you. Do you yes. think that they're all parts of yes. you that are, that are having a moment in the limelight yep. and then actually having conversations <laughs> between each other and, yep. and then, then you actually package them up in a, in a, a book format, mm -hmm. a comic format, mm -hmm. and you've, and you've gifted that mm -hmm. out to the world. Yeah, for sure. Um, last night you mentioned that um, that you've sold the comic books and mostly your friends have bought them. <laughs> what sort of feedback have you got back from people who've um, read the, the comics? Yeah, some of my friends have never read comics, to be honest. Mm. They're just, they're, it's something that they just wouldn't pick up. Mm. And so it's only because I wrote one that they decided, okay, I'm going to give it a go. Mm. So I think some of them are a bit out of their comfort zone mm. because reading a comic is a little bit different than reading, you know, a magazine or reading a novel. So mm. sometimes you have to, and I learnt that from talking to one of my friends who's just not used to reading comics. She said, well, I had to kind of look at the pictures and read the words and sort of put it all together in my mind. Yeah. And I, because I've been reading comics since I was a kid, I just... Natural. Yeah, yeah. I never thought of that. Yeah. And I thought, oh, well, what do you mean? <laughs> So, yeah, that was, a, I guess some of the feedback was um, they enjoyed it, but yeah. it was just a process from them, for them to... To work their brains that way. It. Yeah. 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 So, uh, and besides that, I think everyone saw the humour in it. Uh, and they, they probably didn't comment much on the cultural aspects of it. Uh, I think most people sort of have had some interactions with Chinese people, so they kind of... And Chinese restaurants are quite Australian, yeah. cliche type, you know, uh, establishments. So it's sort of, I think people grow up with going to the Chinese restaurant for a treat, for dinner. So people sort of know roughly what that's all about. So, but, you know, it's, but yeah, you're right. It's, um, because I grew up with my mum, who was, you know, a broken English, uh, she had her own personality and trying to, and because I, you know, I grew up in Australia, that sort of, I guess it's not, maybe not a conflict, but that sort of always, um, I'm not quite sure if I'm Chinese or if I'm Australian, yeah. that sort of thing, and, and trying, yeah, being at home, and, and she was quite, yes, that she'd have her own little superstitions or whatever, and, and that sort of thing. So it's the sort of merging of cultures, because in that comic, uh, the, uh, Oliver, the other pig, is not um, Chinese. Mm. So, you know, so there's a couple of characters that aren't Chinese. So yeah, it's, uh, you know, it is a multiculturalism in a comic format, but yeah, a little bit of me, like mm. you said, mm. Mm. yeah.